Yo, what is good everyone? I am Ethan back here with the kitchen sink and we're gonna check out a video that just came out about like four days ago when I'm recording this. I don't know when this video will actually be up so it might be a little later than that, but about four days ago, it came out on December 4th. It is the top 10 football players of the year 2018. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take an assumption that Ronaldo, Messi, Mbappe, Griezmann, you know, KDB, those type, Mo Salah, those type of guys are probably in this video. I don't know for sure. I don't, I didn't look at the description, so I don't know if there's a list or what's going on, but I figured those guys will probably be in here. It's just, you know, a rule of thumb. Modric, I would assume is going to be in here because of the Ballon d'Or, even though I know a lot of you guys don't agree with that, including myself. How does Messi finish fifth in that? Seems like he almost had some retaliation into that game against Espanol where he had two goals and two assists. But enough of me talking about that. I do want to check out this video, but before we do, Check out the giveaways down in the description, man. I'm giving away multiple kits this month, so check it out. Also, make sure you check out the bestsoccerstore.com. Use my code TKS to get 10% off. Free shipping really supports this channel more than really anything, man, and I do appreciate it. But let's go ahead and get into it. Why don't we? The top 10 football players of the year 2018. And the original video is in the description, as always, guys. You know that. Harry Kane. He scores a lot of goals, doesn't he? Ericsson. Great ball, Harry Kane. Two one to Tottenham. Brilliant ball. That was a nice little skill right there, man. World Cup top scorer. KDB, yeah, I figured he'd be on here. He's a stud. Yeah, what a pass. Let me know down in the comments, guys, who do you think is the best in 2018? I know there's mixed opinions, but I, I still got to say Messi, dude. He's having a heck of a year. That is some power, man. Oh, jeez. He's done well. De Bruyne. De Bruyne, 2 0. Belgium. What is going on here? De Bruyne. Oh, Belgium. Absolute belter from Kevin De Bruyne. There is no off his left foot too, man. What a way to open your account for the season. Beautiful strike. He is a beast, man. Oh. Eden Hazard. He played phenomenal this past weekend, man. For Chelsea. What a strike, dude. So much love to leave behind. What a strike, holy cow. You should live for all the high. Lovely ball, a 
Lazard can set it all here and does. Eddie Lazard for Belgium, 2 0. He seems like a guy that doesn't really go nuts with the celebrations. He just does that little yes, you know? Is that Veron? It is. I only knew that because of his number, man. From uh, from FIFA. FIFA taught me that. He is a stud. He's like ridiculously fast for a defender, isn't he? I guess for a center back is what I meant. Salah. He just had a hat trick this past weekend and gave man of the match away to uh, Milner. He's just, he, he's not a one season wonder, guys. I know a lot of people want to say that, but Mo Salah is definitely not a one season wonder. And with the chip. And with the chip. Dirty. Dude, I love those kits. I should have worn mine. It's hanging up over there. Oh, there's the man. There's the man. Fifth in the Ballon d'Or, dude. Oh, my goodness. Seriously, guys, right now, let me know your thoughts down in the comments on your, like, Ballon d'Or. Your, just your thoughts on the whole thing. Because I'm pretty sure it went uh, Modric won, obviously. Ronaldo, Griezmann. Mbappe, Messi, I think. I think that's how it went. I really strongly disagree that Mbappe and Griezmann are both better than Messi. But then again, I like I said, you guys know I haven't been a fan for that long. Just from what I've watched this year, though, I definitely would disagree. I know it's for the whole calendar year. So it's a big difference from what I've seen from what you guys have seen. But I have saw a lot of backlash about it. Especially that Modric won by, like, what, 150 or 200 votes over Ronaldo? Which is a lot, man. That is a lot.
This man is gonna be a beast, man. Wait till he hits like 25, 26. Mbappe is gonna be so scary. As if he isn't scary enough already. He's a beast. He's so fast, man. He's seriously just so fast. And then he's got the skill on. Oh, oh, did he meg him? He's got the skill moves on top of it. Though. That's a crazy thing. Oh no. I didn't realize I didn't realize Griezmann has done the Fortnite dances and celebrations, bro. <laughs> That's cool. That's just dirty. That's just dirty. He is a stud, man. There's no, there's no denying. Griezmann is an absolute monster. <laughs> of course, CR7. He's still he's still a goal scoring machine, man. Ronaldo. Oh, genius! Absolute genius! And then Ronaldo. Of course, you got to show that every Ronaldo highlight video. They have to show that bike, man. They have to show it. I respect it, though. He's a monster. What a volley, dude. What a holy cow. I didn't realize he caught it in the air. Then of course, Modric. I got nothing against the guy, okay? He's an absolute, okay, here, here, hold up, hold up. I got nothing against Luka Modric, dude. He is a monster. He is so good, don't get me wrong. But is he better than Messi and Ronaldo and these guys? You know, like he, I guess it is the fact that Croatia made it second in the World Cup. But when I think about it, it's the fact that this is, it's an individual award, man. It's individual. But it seems like across all sports, this award is more team-based than it is individual. If your team has success, you're going to win more, even if you aren't better than the next guy, you know? I know that might not make sense to a lot of you guys, but to me, that's how I feel about it. It's like that in a lot of basketball. I watch a ton of basketball, if you guys haven't noticed. I kind of refer to it a lot. Whereas, it's always the best player on the best team that wins the award, and that's just not, that's not right, man. It should be the best player. That's it. The best player. You could be on a terrible team, but if you are the best player in the world, guess what? You should win MVP because you are that most valuable player.
he is like he is phenomenal man don't get me wrong He's a monster, dude. Hey, guys, make sure if you made it this far in the video, you go ahead and check out Home of Football. They make some crazy good videos. I love checking them out, and they seem to be okay with me checking them out. So make sure you do check out their channel. Seriously, amazing, amazing quality videos. But there we have it, the top 10 football players of the year 2018. And obviously, those were in no specific order. It just They were just the players listed, listed off because I'm assuming they were trying to avoid hate. If they do put them in order, guess what's going to happen? There's going to be a lot more hate from a lot more people. So I do respect the fact they did that. Let me know what I should check out next. And let me know your thoughts on the Ballon d'Or. I know that it's over. It's in the past. Luka Modric won. There's nothing you can do about that. And, you know, respect to him. He had an insane year. But to me, it's just like, was that year better than the likes of Messi and Ronaldo and those guys like that? I mean, Mbappe won the World Cup. He scored, how many goals did he score? I know he scored one in the final of the World Cup. So it's just, I don't know. It's hard to compare. Did he win? Was he that much better where he should have won by that many votes as well? You guys will just have to let me know down in the comments. I don't really want to start an argument. I just want like a, like a nice conversation. I know that's impossible with this sport because everyone is so passionate about their clubs and their countries. But, you know, go ahead and try to be try to be polite down in the comments. But until next time, peace. Have an awesome day.